of all the relationships that Kronos has with um, composers, one of the most uh, fruitful, probably the most fruitful and most exciting and interesting and satisfying is the relationship we have with Terry Riley. When Kronos first started to uh, work with Terry Riley, he hadn't been writing music down on a piece of paper for about 15 years. Uh, the idea of notating music no longer held interest because he was performing and improvising all the music that he wanted. And it took uh, all of my powers of persuasion, and most people would say they are considerable, but it took all of them to convince him that he should do that. Um, and one of the biggest problems he had was a really sore thumb because he hadn't used a pencil for so long. We're going to start our concert with his newest piece. Following that, we're going to go into his second newest piece, which is uh, Transylvanian Horn Courtship. The horns of the title are instruments that were made for this piece by Walter Katundu and are influenced by the stro instruments or the trumpet violins. Only in this case, we have a set. So we have a tuba cello, a trombone viola, and two trumpet violins. Only they're tuned lower than normal. And so it's as though Kronos has sunk <laughs> into the, some depth of brassness or something. We're going to play uh, the con concluding s section from his uh, wonderful work called Sun Rings. And this is basically a cello solo that is, it's like the earth mother singing to all of her children. It's, to me, it's just one of the great pieces that's ever been written for us. And it felt like a good idea to uh, kind of um, return to some of Terry's older pieces as well. So we're going to conclude the concert with um, the uh, final section from Salome Dances for Peace, which is Terry's one of the happiest pieces he's ever written. It's called Good Medicine. All of these pieces together will make a, a portrait of our relationship and the music of Terry Riley. Mm -hmm.